Man, oh man, these trailers are coming in fast. Anywho, welcome back to another rendition of Trailer Talk. This is where I take a look at trailers and tell you my opinions on what could possibly happen in the movie and uh, decide whether or not I'll see it. At least, that's what I think the plot is for Trailer Talk. So, anywho... Outside of getting the trailer for the My Little Pony movie, which you can see that with the cards up here, if I remember to do that, and, of course, we have ourselves the trailer for the remake that's been talked about in, uh, in the media for a long time, the remaking of the Robin Williams film from 1995. And I'll do a Movie Fridays or a quick little review of the thing before Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle comes out. Now, obviously, you know Jumanji is a classic film. It is one of the best Robin Williams family films that he's done. And, um, it'd be interesting to see what they do for this film. What are they going to pull off? What are they going to do? Well, that's the reason of the reactions here. Unless this gets claimed or taken down by Sony, then I'll redo the whole thing. Because I know 20th Century Fox likes their moolah. Especially when people are reacting to the Deadpool trailer. Anywho, let us take a look at the trailer for Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle. Um, better shut this off for a bit. Okay, much better. Um, makes it easy on the synchronization. Any go. Here we go. For your artisans or accompanying a feature. Wow, this is a fun group. Welcome to detention. Spencer, Bethany, Fridge. Martha. The stereotypes. For a reason. Hey, person walking. You should be thinking about who you are and who you want to be. Sony. You'll have Those plenty of time tracks. to figure that out while you're cleaning out the basement. Okay, so it's kind of like the Breakfast Club. Too I'm too pretty. Okay, Yo, that one was pretty this? good. Looks like a, a game Commodore. For those who seek to find or an intellivision. To leave their world behind. Jumanji. Pick a character okay. and you're that person in the game. We're They're no the longer, the it's no longer a board game. Spinbar. Sounds like a badass. I'll be the curvy genius. Dr. Smolder Bravestone. I guess I'm Ruby Roundhouse. Oh my god, they're getting sucked in like in the first part of the board game. And who's playing who? Oh my god, The Rock. I do like those eyebrows that he does. <laughs> Stock sounds. Where's the rest of me? There's Jack Black. Oh my God, Fridge? Yeah, Fridge. Who are you? It's me, Spencer. Oh, well, that's Key oh, or she? Peel. Martha? Oh, it's We're the blonde chick from Guardians of the, the Galaxy. I'm not kidding. That's her. And we become the avatars we chose. So that means Bethany. Oh, Bethany? Bethany's okay. Jack Black. No! <laughs> I'm an overweight middle-aged man. Oh, I don't have my Claritin, and all I see around here is Paula. Well, I don't have a top two feet of my body. Oh, damn, that is a man right there. Don't cry, don't cry. Don't cry, it's gonna be okay. So Rock's saying that is funny. This is a video game, which means we all have special skills. Motorcycles? What about Van Pelt? That was so intense. I like can't even with this place. Nice. Watch your step in here. Wow. I feel like this is Mad Max. Like all these motorcycles and helicopters and whatnot. There's the title. You're all in a coma. What? That old game machine must have elected you to watch us now. In denial. You better get in there and save her. I'm not gonna get in there. You get in there. Get, I got a backpack on. You don't get in water with a backpack. Everybody knows that. Actually, I don't. But anywho, that was the trailer for Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle. Um, honestly, first off, it's a huge cast for this movie. And I especially love the fact that, obviously, 
it kind of starts off kind of like the stereotypes we're all familiar with, and I kind of get this vibe that it's kind of like The Breakfast Club. And if you have not seen The Breakfast Club, go check it out. It is a really good classic. But anywho, what winds up happening to these four is that, obviously, when they pick their characters from this supposed video game that looks like a Intellivision or a, um... I forget what the other one is, but it's one of the other Intellivisions. Oh, ColecoVision, that's it. That's what it is, ColecoVision. And once they get in, they wind up getting sucked into the game, and our actors here in the game are Drain Johnson, which, you know he's a WWE wrestler, but surprisingly, in recent years, he's a damn good actor. I mean, I've seen him in, uh, recently in Moana, and it is pretty good just how awesome he is. I mean, even the song You're Welcome is pretty cool. And then there's Kevin Hart as the uh, zoologist and weapons expert. Now, I'm not familiar with uh, Kevin Hart's material. If I am, then I'll probably know this off the top of my head if I look up this list real quick. Okay, so um, he was in uh, Secret Life of Pets as Snowball, but he's also the voice of George in Captain Underpants, which I'm still trying to work out a time I might be able to see it. I mean, it's obvious that HBO no longer carries the animated DreamWorks movies, and it's now Netflix's department. But, um, I might get it on pay-per-view, who knows. But, um, I think he's got a good, like, film career. I mean, look at this list. It's pretty huge. But we also, surprisingly, as I said, got Jack Black in the movie as a professor... Professor... I can't speak English today. Professor Shelley Orberon. And there's... And then there's Karen Gillian as Ruby Roundhouse. Now, of course, as you've probably known by this point, and I've said this numerous times, she was in Guardians of the Galaxy, but also, from what my family tells me, is that she was on Doctor Who. And it's surprising to find this out, because not only am I a huge, like, uh, Doctor Who fan, but also, I really, really love Guardians of the Galaxy. And, um... One thing I do kind of like about this is they're trying to go for a different style and obviously take place in modern time, but it's... I don't... I had this unruly feeling that it kind of deteriorates away from the original story. I mean, sure, it kind of begins with us knowing the character and in the process they wind up finding... Uh, Jumanji in the form of at least the original board game and the other version a um, in the form of a video game because original's the board game and the other one's the video game same could be said for uh, Zathura since both Z uh, Jumanji and Zathura are board games um but, yeah, they find a video game in the basement, and, um, they, uh, and, of course, Jumanji's no longer a board game in this world, because I think the filmmakers or the writers think, I mean, teens, for the most part, don't play board games. At least that's to my acknowledgement and what they see in the trailer. One thing I'm surprised about is that they have helicopters and motorcycles in here that kind of gives me that Mad Max vibe from it. And 
it makes me wonder if there's going to be a chance we might see a, uh, at least in this version, Van Pelt. Because as you know, Van Pelt is like the most insane hunter you've ever seen. He literally goes at nothing to try to stop them. Like, pain doesn't stop him, him getting hit by a car doesn't stop him, ramming by a boat, um, getting shot, or even for that matter, getting stabbed with a sword, that does not stop him. That is right there, a badass. In of itself. I love to see if Van Pelt returns in this. At this moment, I don't know whether or not I should see this or not. I mean, obviously I'm talking with a friend who um, I'm going to leave a, uh, as anonymous, but he's in Kentucky. I talk with him online and talk to him about um, this trailer, and he said that obviously Hollywood's sort of kind of coming out with unoriginal ideas, and I kind of agree with him, and normally, th this is like a topic I normally keep to myself, and I rarely say it from time to time, but I have the luxury of seeing movies as they come out, and when I know there's a, um, uh, some positive ratings... Unfortunately, I don't get the chance to see press screenings because I think for the most part they rarely happen in Seattle. They happen a lot in California, I know that for a fact, and even in other states they do happen, but I'm not sure if Seattle does it. But um, I have the luxury of seeing a movie, of uh, picking movies and not having the stuck decision of seeing every single movie that ever comes out through press screenings. I'm not doing that. I don't have that luxury, but I have the luxury of picking what movie I have the chance to see. So, I'm kind of like Jeremy Johns. I, I choose whatever movie I see, and it works in the long end. But, um, it really is a big decision whether or not I should see Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle. I might see it, I might not, it depends on what the critical consent is. Because if those come in and I decide I want to see it, then I'll express my two cents. You gotta understand that. So, um, I'm going to see you guys uh, sometime Saturday tomorrow for the next Equestrial Girl special. But also, I'm currently, at this time, working on the next movie Fridays. And see you guys then for those all-new videos. So, to everyone.